What's up guys, Dick in here. We're playing more da ba da ba ba Splatoon. And this is Tower Control. Ride the Tower. And this is the new mode. It's called Tower Control. And this is my first game of it. And I'm going to give you my first impressions on it. You guys can have the first look. And I'm not sure, I don't think we have to actually paint the place. But I'm just kind of getting myself a little area to kind of surf just like everyone else is doing. And I think it's kind of like the Turf War. You kind of just stay in one spot. I'm not sure. I didn't watch the treehouse special, so... Let's see. There's the tower. Alright, so it moves around and I die. Fun stuff. Alright, so it looks like it moves around. And I guess when you get control over it, it floats around the map somehow. I don't know. It looks like I'm going to die too much. See? Maybe it's just me, but I wish the platform was like a bigger space. Like, it's just basically saying everyone shoot in this one hole. If you guys all shoot in this one hole, you're bound to kill someone because that's where they're standing. It's okay, though. It's okay. I mean, I just don't like starting off playing something and dying immediately. It's not fun, but we'll catch up here. Oh, shit. I can get up from the top. It's actually perfect for this splatter to splash in like this. Hell yeah. All right. All right, so when you have control, it moves back and forth. Oh, I see. It says distance at the top. So I guess whoever has the, the, the farthest distance wins, and if you actually make it back to their base, I would take it that they lose automatically. It's a lot more easier to just kind of be the squid on the side here, like this, and like hide, and then come back up and be like, ah, oh, I'm here. I have control of this dude, not you. Oh, I'm bossing right now, and I got a squid. All right, let me paint this up. Because you're still going to need, like, you know, room. Squid it on over here. Right. Come on, hit her. I'm kind of liking this mode now. <laughs> the first two deaths weren't that great, but now that I'm actually getting the flow. It's pretty cool. Let's be the squid now. Because of the squid, I can just kind of sit here. No matter what they do, you know. Oh, that's bogus. Oh, we're still doing good. That's a pretty good uh, distance. And still being pushed under 40. Yeah. Okay, I kind of like this mode. I don't know. To be honest, I wish they had a diff few different modes. That This is basically just like Turf War, except for the Turf War spot moves. You know what I mean? So I don't know if that's the greatest thing in the world or not. I'm kind of thinking it's, it's kind of boring, to be honest. What I really want is I want them to hire up the level cap. And I want it to actually mean something when you level up because I don't use anything besides rollers. And I've been max level for like a month and a half. <laughs> but I would like levels to have more meaning somehow. I like story mode to be better because honestly I just don't like story mode. I've tried multiple times to play it. But it's just like these little Mario sets with boring enemies and little bounce to, to platform to platform until you get to the end. They're really not fun. I know a lot of you guys might disagree, you guys might enjoy them, but me personally, I don't really enjoy single player. I want to beat it, but it's just not fun enough for me to keep playing. <laughs> this game is lacking a very lot of content. Like once you hit level 20, I know a few people that once you hit level 20, they haven't played this game again. And they don't care about the updates. Even for me, I mean, I showed you guys the new guns in a video. It should be posted in the description, but it's, I'm never going to use the new guns. That's the only time I'll ever use them is just showing them to you guys. So, I don't know. To be honest, I don't think I'm going to have a Wii U by the end of the year. I'll probably end up selling it. The only game coming out for Wii U that I want is Exo Chronicle Blades. And that comes out, like, in uh, November. So, to wait for that, it's just not worth it. I kind of need the money now. Going through a lot of stuff right now. And pretty much, I think once Splatfest is over, once we record all the Splatfest stuff... I think I'm going to be done with Splatoon. I think I'm just going to sell my system on eBay with Splatoon and call it a day. Basically, the Wii U's dead at this point. I don't care to play Star Fox. The only other game I want to play is a is a Japan game that I probably won't play that much. Like, I played a lot of Exo Blade on 3DS. Actually, no, I didn't. I played it maybe three hours. It really wasn't that good. The screen was too small for such a massive game. But enough talking about other games. But um, just enjoy Splatoon if you can. This will probably be one of the last few Nintendo games I'll be posting. And I'm trying to keep them away. Like, we're only at 20 seconds. If I can just take control of this for the next 20 seconds, we got this. 
There we go. We got it. That was really fun. Honestly, I don't I probably won't play this mode ever again. I don't like the mode, but I had a fun game then, you know? I don't know, I just think Splatoon's getting pretty old in my opinion. I got it, you know, like a couple days after it came out. I've been max level forever. It's just not much to do, and this mode isn't gonna keep me back. Let me know what you guys think of this mode. It was pretty fun. I do enjoy it, but not enough to keep me playing it again. I can't wait to see what happens on Splatfest in a few days. And uh, we'll be covering that. So keep locked to Duck Opinion. I have a lot more coming soon. Peace.